In terms of uh, failures, uh, we've got uh, a very good protocol for it. The whole key is to understand what caused it. I mean, uh, uh, any failure you have, you, or any, quite frankly, it's not necessarily a failure. It's a difference between the theory and reality. You really need to understand what's going on. Uh, we actually generate formal reports. We have a process that we go through to understand the theory, do the investigation required, and come to the conclusions along with corrective actions. So it's a, it's a protocol that uh, you must have in place when you're doing testing. Yeah, I mean, it happens, right? Like you learn a lot more from failure than you do from success. And a big part of that is being prepared for failure, knowing that it is a possibility, trying to set up your test such that it captures enough information, it captures enough data, so that when you do have a failure, you have something intelligent you can glean from it. A big part of that is instrumenting things with sensors or trying to make sure you're sampling things quickly enough, setting up cameras, those kind of things, and of course, analyzing the results of the failure. So if you have maybe a blade that came off, for example, you look at how it let go, you look at the video, you look at literally the physical pieces of it that are left, um, as well as the data that coincides with it to try to build a picture of exactly what part of the design didn't pan out the way you thought it would, what assumption, assumption was effectively invalidated through testing.